This is uh, Hagia Sophia. That's the top capping palace there. A nice little green park around there. Here you have the bridge, the Bosphorus. You have the big massive ships that come here on holiday. There you have the rubbish part. No one needs to go there. That's the most overrated place uh, in all of Istanbul, Galata area. Just the tower there, even that you don't need to see is rubbish. And most of the parties and non-Muslim things happen there. The non-religious, no history, history, historical things except for an amazing mosque that is down there called the Arab Arab Mosque, which is actually the oldest mosque in Istanbul and all know. So if I was telling my top things to do in Istanbul, I would say number one is the Suleymaniye Mosque, which is the biggest ancient mosque because it has a view of the sea, it's high up as well. And that's where the Dawa Center is, so you should definitely go see the Dawa Center. You see at the bookshelf inside the mosque, when you go there, all the visitors are there giving Dawa. I mean, uh, the volunteers, I'm one of them, Alhamdulillah. And uh, then they can take you to the cultural house, and you can get some free tea or food if you come during meal times. And the second most beautiful thing, in Istanbul is Hagia Sophia, definitely something rare. Blue Mosque is, is just like Suleymaniye Mosque, but it's smaller and more crowded, so it's kind of rubbish compared to that. And if you do come number three on the list is Topkapi Palace, if you can afford it, it's only like 40 pounds, but once in a lifetime, definitely go see it in the morning, early morning top tips. I've made a few videos about that to do what's on the channel. And the fourth thing I would say, definitely take some sort of boat ride. So from down there, you can get the Bosphorus store. Uh, it's like 150 euro, which is about four pounds. Uh, I don't need to pay in advance anyway, just go there, they go every one hour or so and uh, you can do that for two hours or you can just take a small boat which is like 50p and it takes you to Uskudar on that side and that will kind of give you the mini thing if you've got lots of children and you don't have that much time or something then just take the short trip and that's pretty much it, this is what Istanbul kind of has to offer and there's other mini things that are not all that, not that special but I think this, these four things are probably the most special thing and of course the food you know I mean, it's pretty much the same everywhere in turkey uh here you have the fish that they sell in those fish wraps 100 lira 150 lira uh for the fish uh in a roll they all pretty much the same taste to be honest so yeah this is uh istanbul in a small jiffy do check out the rest of the channel if you're interested in moving to turkey buying property here investing here living here then you can talk about living in antalya or istanbul what's good for you We'll discuss it. we've already discussed that on the channel so you can see the whole big video on that uh, so for holidays as i said this place is good it's amazing uh, if you're going to come without too many children then this is good uh, if you're coming with children they want to swim and they want to uh, live for long term in a peaceful place and of course nothing beats antalya especially when it comes to the weather this place is freezing cold like it's more cold than london um, so in the winter are very harsh and summers are nice and decent uh, a bit too hot as well you get heat waves here as well so that's my little thing about Istanbul.